Hi, my name is Dr. Tolo and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the common reasons why women miss their periods. So guys, if you like what I have to say in this video, just subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a like for me. And if there's any topic you would like me to discuss moving forward in one of my YouTube videos, you can also leave a comment for me letting me know what that topic is and I will do my best to get to discuss it sometime. Alright guys, so without much ado, let's begin. Women see their periods say every 28 to 35 days, right? Most women will see their periods within that time. It can be a distressing thing for a young woman when she doesn't see her period, right? Because it's something that from a young age they've gotten used to seeing and they understand why it's important for them to see their periods. Now, of course, you'll find women who, when they don't see their periods, they're happy. Say women who have been looking to get pregnant for some time. But usually, women of reproductive age who are probably not married or looking to get pregnant would want to see their period once a month. So, when they have a missed period, it can be a bit distressing to say the least. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the common reasons why. The first reason which I've kind of hinted at is pregnancy. Now, when a woman is pregnant, her periods stop, right? Because at that point, um, fertilization has occurred and the womb is kind of, has kind of been told that, hey, there's someone finally to stay in here and then you're supposed to make this be the home for this person until this person grows to term, right? And so periods stop. So pregnancy is one of the common reasons for missed or stopped periods. Another common cause of um, missed or stopped periods is stress. Now women are unique in a certain way, right? In that anything that causes stress, right? Be it physical stress or um, stress on their mental health, can actually affect their hormone balance, can reduce periods, right? Or it can even stop periods altogether. Or it can even make periods painful or more painful than the periods usually are. So stress is something a woman need to keep an eye on. And if, say, you have a woman who is experiencing missed or stop periods and is not pregnant, then she also has to ask herself the question, have I been under an unusual level of stress? Another common reason is something to do with um, weight fluctuation. So for instance, if you have a young woman who has experienced sudden and rapid weight loss can lead her to experience stopped periods or missed periods. Extreme physical activity or a level of physical activity or exercise that the woman is not used to can also lead to missed periods, right? Any rapid change to either end of the spectrum whether um, rapid weight gain or being overweight or rapid weight loss moving rapidly to either end of the spectrum can lead to missed periods another common cause of missed period is the contraceptive pill. So the contraceptive pill comes in different ways. I mean, you have the progesterone only pill, you have the combined or contraceptive pills. And then there's also the one that women take the morning after pill um, with different brand names, right? That women take maybe after as a form of, form of emergency contraception, right? Any of these kinds of contraceptive pills can cause a temporary change in the hormone balance which can in turn cause the woman to miss her period especially for women who are sexually active another common reason is a condition we call polycystic ovarian syndrome that's pcos now i have a video on pcos where i explained exactly what pcos is all about to watch this video where i explained what pcos is all about you can just click on the link that is appearing right now in this video and you can watch it so pcos is the most common endocrine disorder in women of reproductive age worldwide women experience what we call an amenorrhea that means they don't see their periods for periods of time, right? Um, excuse the pun. So PCOS is one of the major causes of missed or stopped periods.
to another common cause of um, missed periods is the woman is experiencing a medical condition or is undergoing some form of medical treatment right so let's talk about medical conditions for a bit medical conditions like an overactive thyroid the thyroid is overworking right which ultimately may present as a missed period other conditions like say uncontrolled diabetes can also cause missed period and the last one i want to point out as a common cause is menopause now menopause is what um, happens to women and it kind of signals the end of the reproductive phase of the woman so menopause is something that women roughly all over the world it's one of the common reasons for missed or stopped periods because their periods start declining due to a decline in their reproductive hormones and then finally they stop seeing their periods altogether now at this point since i'm talking about menopause i would like to point out that for women who are say around 55 years or older who are still seeing their periods may need to see their doctor or women who maybe have stopped seeing their periods maybe they've um, hit menopause and then after maybe a few months or few years they start seeing what looks like their period again right this woman should see their doctor the reason why is to rule out a possible problem because for women of that age who are experiencing vaginal bleeding it could be something else other than the period it could be a form of cancer now i'm not saying this is scary i'm just saying this so that you'll be vigilant and so that you see your doctor so that if that is what it is then early treatment can begin it may be it may not be but the only way to know is to see your doctor now for women who are experiencing missed periods what we usually say as a rule of thumb is if a woman misses a period say for one month that is probably not something to be worried about that's probably the point where the woman needs to take a step back and ask herself why am i missing my period could i be pregnant um, have i been under undue stress have i gained weight rapidly have i lost weight rapidly now usually what we advise is that when women have missed periods for say three or more times in a row that's a good time to go see your doctor but first before a woman who has missed a period says a doctor it's helpful for you to do a pregnancy test like i said that's probably the most common reason for missed periods so if you do a pregnancy test and it's positive hey congratulations but if it's not positive and say you've missed your period for about three months or three times in a row or more then you should see your doctor now when you see your doctor the first thing your doctor will most likely do is to ask you questions regarding your clinical history i may also ask you to do a couple of tests which if you've not done a pregnancy test the first thing on the doctor's mind especially for young women will be a pregnancy test and then some other tests like a hormone profile for instance or may even want to do an abdominal pelvic scan or depending on what the doctor is suspecting and based on the results of this test they may want to refer you right to a specialist for instance the two specialists that are usually actively involved with women who are experiencing missed periods are the, your OBGY and that's an obstetrician and gynecologist they are the ones who are specialists when it comes to the female reproductive tract or may also involve an endocrinologist those are specialists when it comes to your hormones or hormonal disorders or imbalances right so if the doctor by examining you and running tests is able to find out what's going on then they're able to treat it which brings me to the treatment right i have a lot of women who say oh, doc i've not seen my periods in a while how do i treat it the simple answer is the treatment for missed periods depends on the cause of the missed periods for instance if a woman is mi misses her periods due to a medical condition like an overactive thyroid the treatment for that is clearly going to be different from a woman who is missing a period due to sudden weight loss right because they have different things causing them then the treatment will depend on whatever it is that is causing them so if, let's say if someone is missing a period due to a severe calorie restriction that is causing her to lose a lot of weight what the doctor may tell her is to take it easy on the calorie restriction build your body or ease your body gradually into it don't just jump from point a to point z rapidly you have to move you know through the phases and let your body get used to it because that sudden drop 
can trigger a couple of things that will go on in your body to then lead you to miss your periods. Or if the problem is due to the overactive thyroid, then the doctor can decide to treat, will most likely decide to treat the overactive thyroid or refer you to the endocrinologist who is an expert with this sort of condition. So guys, I hope this video has been useful. If you know anyone who is experiencing missed periods, please share this video with them. Also, if you like what I had to say or you found it useful, please leave a like for me, drop a comment for me, letting me know how useful this video was. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Yeah.